Hi, this is Dave Sconey from Stay Connected with EVs, and today I have a special review here. And as you can see by the intro, this bike is winning an award. And what you're looking at here is the Mockwell Obsidian. And to be honest with you, it surprised me. And the only reason why it surprised me was more or less how it fit on me and also how it rode. And as you can see, you've got an aluminum frame. You've got so many different things here that I am so excited to discuss. I'm probably going to get a little bit more into it in my ride, but as you can see, you have Tektro brakes, you have Shimano shifters, you know, top quality products. This also features a torque sensor, which to me is one of the best torque sen sensors I've used. Um, it truly is so smooth. Thousand watt motor made by Mach Wheel. Um, you, you name it, it's on here. Four inch tires, 26 inch rims. I can't tell you how surprised I was when I got on this bike. The seat by far, uh, it's, it's a wider seat for that off-road experience. As you can see, I did not put on the fenders. The fenders are plastic. If anything I would hit this up on negatively, it would be the, the way the fenders go in. Not the easiest instructions that I've seen out there. So that's the only thing I'm probably gonna knock this on, but me being 235 pounds, six foot two, this bike truly has so much to offer to me. And not only that, I was quite surprised because it is a bigger bike, 77 pounds, not as heavy as some of the bikes we've seen, um, but also some of the things, the little tuning that I really liked, the leather grips just really feel well. Not sure if I'm a big fan of this little gel pad in the, in the, in the front here, the throttle controls are really in a nice position. Now, mind you, the way this works is it's pedal assist only. So when you're at pedal assist five, you're gonna be able to go over 30 miles an hour. Um, there's so much back and forth about speeds and so forth. I can tell you this, you wanna pedal, this torque sensor is gonna drive you quick, fast. And I like it because what it does, it makes you feel, the way it rides, it's so smooth and I was talking to a couple different people about this bike and you know, I kept saying, there's just something about this bike that's growing on me. And what I pinpointed it down to was, it was probably due to the tires, how wide they are, the suspension. So you have front and rear suspension. Um, there are adjustable suspension. There's so many different things that we'll, we'll go over in the cut scene. And I'll, I'll diagram each one and what they are. But ultimately, I can't tell you how excited I am and how I was when I first got on this bike and just sat on it. I was like, wow, this is, this is interesting. Now, I might be, you know, my final input might be different at the end. You know, what I like doing is, is kind of going over the intro, what my initial impression was. The unboxing was, I'll tell you, the unboxing was uneventful. And why I say that is, it was uneventful because it was so easy to do. Now, there's something unique about this bike that might, you've never heard anywhere else. There's an option now, you can get it added on free, and it's an inverter, a thousand watt inverter. So what that means is you can use the battery in the mock wheel, and you can take that to power other things that, you're, that you have. So, for example, if you're on a camping trip and you have the bike with you, and you need to power let's just say a, a phone or any other source that you have, that inverter will give you that ability to do it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the inverter at the time of this review. As you can see, we've been getting a lot of snow and with the Chinese New Year, it just kind of didn't line up. And if I do get it, I will do a follow-up on it. But what's really unique is they also have an option for solar panels. So if you're stuck in the desert and you have no power, you can power up with those solar panels. So it's really different, right? And when I look at the bike, again, you can see, you know, I'm six foot two and it, it's a big bike. But what I like is the weight is not big. So you're gonna get between, so range on this, it, it depends on how you ride, especially with a torque sensor. Uh, you can get anywhere between 50 to 80 miles on a charge. I, I would say that's being very, very nice, the 80. But ultimately, um, what I've seen is you're probably gonna get between 40 to 60 miles on the charge. It is a big, beefy battery, uh, 48 cells and uh, Samsung battery, and it is definitely packs a punch. Uh, it comes also 
The other piece that I thought was interesting, when you look at the bike as a whole, you know, the, you have the, the DNM shock right here in the middle. It's adjustable, you know, and also I kind of like it without the fenders. I think it adds, that's what mountain bikes are about. The one thing that ideally that you might hear during this ride is this kickstand ultimately will sometimes jog in the back and you might hear it sometimes. That's with all mountain bikes. That's why the majority of people don't have kickstands. So with that, I'm excited to take you along. This has been a long awaited ride. This, as everyone knows, has been a bike that surprised me. So come along, let's go for a ride at the Mock Wheel Obsidian. computer system has five levels of pedal assist. So we hit one, two, three, four, five. Now, to note, it also has a torque sensor, so this will automatically place itself in power mode once you get to the certain speed that's the higher level. So you cannot take this from eco to power mode. It's automatic, which is a little different than what we've seen before, but actually it's very, very interesting to use and keeps your eyes on the road and also gives you the assist that you need. And we are off. And I am telling you, it is a beautiful day. Even though it's cold, it's always nice to take a ride on this path and just try to experience the bike and see what my thoughts are and ultimately see how the bike rides. Now, one of the things that I, I notice is, and this is gonna be interesting because I didn't even know this bike path was gonna have this, so. I could be taking a fall right now, and that could be happening, but let's see what happens. I mean, this is full ice. Come on, come on, fall. <laughs> and I am trying to get through this without any type of horrible accident. Yeah, tons of horrible accidents happen here every day. And I think I might have done it. And looks looks like we are clear. So, pass its first test. <laughs> Not sure how many of those I'm going to have uh, against me, but you're going to see how this bike easily picks up speed. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice is on here, and again, this ride is extremely, uh, I guess you could say, uncomfortable because it has all these, I guess, these little seeds that are on the ground that just create just unnecessary bouncing but so one of the things that I really enjoy on this bike is how the torque sensor works and why I say this is majority of the bikes that we're riding today you know we rely on the on the throttle right and it's just it becomes more of a hey how fast can we go and I can tell you the way this torque sensor is set up on the mock wheel obsidian is so nicely tuned that they've done a great job. Now, yeah, we'll go through some speed tests, but what I like about it, it really is forcing me to, you know, pedal. That, that's why we ride bikes. And, you know, it to me, this really gives me that nice little nudge of, hey, I'm here, I'm kind of, I'm right behind you, but I'm not gonna carry you the entire way. So right now we're, we're in a, a full pack I charge it up nicely. It takes around eight hours to charge. So, you know, it definitely is something that you gotta prepare for because um, I do believe also it's a, I think it was a four amp charger. So I think it came up to be around eight hours uh, to fully charge this. So right now, my speedometer is showing me I'm doing around 19 miles an hour. What's also interesting is 
it starts off in an eco setting. And I, at first I was like, well, I don't want to be an eco, you know, where we have that, that thought process on us about, we've got to go fast, we've got to go fast. And what happens is, as I started pedaling and I geared up to, you know, the eighth gear here on the Shimano shifters, I noticed when I got you know, to a certain speed, it, it kicked into power automatically. I was like, oh, I see what we're doing. And that's really what it's doing. And I like that. I think, I think it kind of goes hand in hand with a mountain bike and really what we're doing with it. Now, I'm riding on the road here, right? And some of you are gonna say, well, Dave, you know, off road, and yes, I, I'm not kidding. I did take it off road before the rain, uh, excuse me, before the snow, and I didn't take any video. And I only did that because I like to get used to the bike. And I wanna see where it lacks, see, see just kind of characteristics of what I've seen. And this bike is a beast. Uh, the shocks over, over jumps and bumps, it really handles nicely. And we're, you know, we'll do some shots overhead and you'll be able to see it. But ultimately, I, I have to say, this is probably the most comfortable position for me and the most comfortable, sh uh, I guess you could say shocks that I've ridden, that I've rode. Um, and I, I like it. And I really like it a lot because I think what happens is the, the shocks on this bike absorb so much of the, of the road noise that it gives you one, one focus and that is how fast we're gonna go and ensuring that we have enough power to make whatever hill or whatever jump we need to make or whatever branch or log we've gotta get over that it's there. And I think that's important when you're selecting a mountain bike. The other thing that I, I really like about is, is the frame. The design of this frame is truly unique. You don't see it much at all. You, I, I, you know, obviously a mock wheel does a lot of their own engineering, but it's ex what I like about it is, it's easier for me to get on with a bike this big. And I like that. And not only that, the position of how the seat's structured is pretty darn good because the seat is padded nicely and I can stand up on the bike if I want to stand up and, you know, and see what happens. So let's see what happens here. This, this could end up bad. So let's just take a look. I want you to be very, very careful. No, nope, we're good. No problems. The only reason why I say it could end up bad is we've got a lot of ice and ultimately I don't like riding through ice and I don't really like riding through snow. And based on the gray weather we have out here in the East Coast, Mother Nature likes to make it snow in, in February and March for some reason and give us warm and hot weather in November and December. So that, that in itself is its own problem. So going back to where i was talking about how the bike rides in the seat the one other area that i thought was quite unique was how it has its own inverter now mock wheel is positioning so many things with this bike let's see what this does here yeah you can so on the jumps you can see well you can hear that kickstand so I would probably recommend getting rid of the kickstand if you're gonna go out off on the trails. Just, it's not a big deal. I mean, it happens a lot, but I would say get rid of it. But going back to what's coming in, I mean, Mock Wheel has some promotions that are truly, really, really good. <laughs> and they're bundling a lot of good freebies on here. And also, I've got a coupon code below that I would highly appreciate it if this video was helpful that you would purchase it through my link and my code and that would be fantastic and I want to thank everyone else who's uh, supported that with my channel because I've been getting a good amount of sales from our reviews and I, I can't thank you enough for that 
but right now they have a really good promotion that I, I think is fantastic the way they're bundling a lot of freebies. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna show you that right here in this cutscene. As you can see, you get a ton right now from Mock Wheel as it pertains to if you purchase the Mock Wheel Obsidian, which it's a great time to buy this bike. Now, one of the other things is, is batteries. And I know we always just bypass it, but this has a Samsung pack. It's a 48 volt, 19 amp hours. And what's, what's unique is it's UL certified. It's UL2271 which is important to a lot of people. And I think that plays a lot into some of the things that we've been seeing today with the problems with batteries going on fire and so forth. I think it's good that Mock Wheel is now really taking their game to the next level. Let's see if we can get through this without falling. This. Yep, got it. So I think that's gonna be really important as we start seeing some of these laws and regulations and mock wheels, you know, jumping ahead. And I think that that's another reason. So when we look at my review, and I think this is important, one of the things that in order to make it my top, you know, stay connected with EV's top award, that's got to play into it. What's the, what, what is the status of their battery? And, you know, have they spent the time for that certification? And you know what? Hats off to Mock Wheel because they did it. They spent the time to do it. And I think it speaks volumes about their commitment to the customer. And also when I look at who I think is one of the best contenders out there. I mean, if my name's on it, I wanna make sure I check all the boxes. So the first box that we check is that safety box. And I think between the torque sensor, the way it works here, the battery is really important. Uh, obviously it does have security, it has the key. It also has the ability to have an inverter. You can solar charge this. I don't think there's much of an argument here on why this bike made this award. I mean, th these awards I don't give out. And this is the first one I've given out in this class and I, uh, it'll be interesting to see how Narika does, but right now the Mock Wheel Obsidian wins the first Day Connect with EV awards and I think you're starting to see why. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get this bike to a stop and we're gonna do our speed tests. Okay, and we're gonna start right now. Twenty. No. Nope. So I got a twenty-eight there. Now, one of the things that we forget is these bikes and these batteries react to coldness. And I can tell you that I was able to get this bike up to 30 miles an hour with no problem. But today we are at almost 31 degrees. So let's see if we can do it. Three, two, one, go. All right. Already at 20. And 30. Yeah, and that was a hard one. So definitely we're feeling the, the cold weather. I really like to get this back out on the road. 
And what I'll do is I'll put it up on Twitter or on X what my numbers are this spring. Because I can tell you, you can see this, this bike just wants to go. And I'm really, let's see where we're at, like, just kind of coasting here. And it's, I'm barely pedaling. And you can see I'm already at 29. So, not bad. This bike, what I like about it is, when you go in the, the when you go in the highest gear, this bike moves. Like right now, I'm barely pedaling, and I have no throttle on right now, and it's it's moving. And I think that's partially where I really enjoyed riding this bike, because it kind of feels like there's someone behind me going, go, 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 you know? And it, uh, it's definitely, you get a good workout. And I really, really enjoy that. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna take it back and I'll go over my final impressions of the mock wheel obsidian and go over the things that I like, go over the things that I don't like. I know I spoke about some, but there's some things that you don't wanna miss in my final conclusions. So I said there were some things that I didn't talk about, and it's true. First being the front headlight. It's an LED headlight. It really is helpful on those off-road tracks when it's dark at night and you gotta get through. Now, I'm not saying it's as good as a spotlight that you might get on your traditional mountain bike, but it's darn good and I really like it. The other thing is, is on these Chow Yang tires, they're four inch Chow Yangs, 26 inch rims. The big piece here is this white wall. It is reflective and I have not seen this anywhere else. And why I like it is I was riding at night and it caught me. I put the bike on the stand, I walked away and I saw a car drive by. I was like, whoa, what was that? It reflected. And that's a huge safety plus. And that's another reason why I'm picking this as one of my top awards for a mountain bike in 2024. It just, there's some hints there. Also with the free add-ons that they're giving in with this bike. Also, the inverter. Also, the ability to charge with a solar panel. Just, there's just so much here. And that's why I really like it. They don't throw it out there. You don't have discussion groups of people fighting over, you know, my mock wheel can do that. It just does what it says it's supposed to do. It's almost like, forget it and shut up, right? Because it's ultimately telling you, I'm gonna give you everything you need in a bike. And I couldn't be any more happier with this bike. Also, the ability to take the bike out with the key, uh, excuse me, and take the battery out with the key and charge indoors is important. We've got real cold weather here. We've got snow. I'm not gonna charge this outdoors I'm gonna, in my garage. I'm gonna bring that battery in, make sure it conditions well, and then I'm gonna plug it in. So there's, there's too much not to like. Like there's just so much here that I, it was funny. I was talking to another influencer on YouTube and I had said to him, this really took me by a storm. And you know, Mach Wheel was nice enough to send me this bike they were gonna send me the basalt and, and I saw the obsidian for some reason. I, you know, I persisted, I said, let me see the, the obsidian. And I am so thankful I did because this bike is a win. The other great piece here is on the center shock. There is no rattle here. I know there's some other bikes. I know there's some people having issues with the wired freedom and some of the, some of the issues here in this area, solid as a brick does not move, does not jiggle left or right, does not make noises. Also, I'm gonna show you a photo I took, and that photo shows you how camouflaged this bike looks. It's awesome, right? It is awesome. It's what they call the total hunter's bike. Comes with four, other, four different other colors, black and red. It comes with the yellow, it comes with this one, and it comes with, I think, one other color, green. So with that, I wanna say congratulations to Mach Wheel. <laughs> 
you did it. You delivered the first Stay Connected with EVs award for 2024. And I wanna congratulate them right here. And leave me a comment below. What do you think about this bike? Is this bike something that you think you'd love to jump on right now? It's around $2,200. And I can tell you, as I said, there are some coupon codes. Jump on that opportunity. This is Dave Sacconi from Stay Connected. You have an awesome day.